Hello, yeah. How to improve the dev process with hot reloading in your SPFX solution. Uh, so we are all aware of this. So it start the subtask, loading, reloading, and then it does nothing. And therefore, this is the PMP SPFX live reloader actually addresses this issue for all the SPFX customizations. So PMP live reloader helps you to focus on your code and no more manual refresh of your browser window because this is you you shouldn't be aware, you shouldn't be worrying about when the build chain is ready. You just see immediately when this uh, when, when the browser is done and can load your updated source code. So to show you how this looks like is first of all you have to create or it's recommended to create an app catalog in your site collection, which you can do always. And then put the uh, SPFX Live Reloader, which is an, just a regular SPFX uh, solution in here, and then install it on, on the page. And then what you will see at the bottom is here this Live Reloader bar. It currently says here that the workbench is not connected. It says it's not available and it's all uh, disconnected. So what this actually does is when I do a gulp serve here in my solution that you see on, on top of it, serve then it starts up and when i refresh then my window you see here that the workbench is available right this is just a simple web part no what what i can do here is i can edit this page say okay i want to have my just a web part yeah the problem is here, I have been, I've not been connected to my local workbench. So what you have down here is you have, you can click this button. You also see it also when you start an NPM uh, SPFX solution with the question mark, you have to add this to your browser window. And then you say what you can do here directly is I can connect directly into debug mode and then it refreshes the pages. And now when I do the edit and add the web part, it is just a web part, it automatically is in here. And then I can publish the page, then I have it on the page. Yeah, I don't want to share this one. What you also see here, so you see here that these blocks are connected together. So I'm now connected to my local workbench. I also can say here, I want to connect to my workbench. So whenever I go in here, let's scroll to the very bottom. I have the CSS in here and say background color, lime and save the uh the document there the css then it automatically refreshes the browser i can do this with anything so let's say i want to have yellow in here uh also again i don't have to re refresh my browser it automatically does that in some situations you might want don't want to do this then it can easily disconnect here and say okay pink and the browser stops refreshing automatically. When you're done with a lot of changes or something like that, then you can directly connect with this again. So you can also disconnect directly from the uh, from the debug mode, then you're back in the regular mode, and which doesn't show the web part at all on the page. So now we have this pink one here. So how this is built is uh, basically we have an um, application customizer here, which does a lot of stuff, but the heart of it is directly in the live reloader bar. So what I do is I oh, let me, we, every SharePoint has a port, which is on localhost 35729 slash live reloader.js, which is actually a web socket where you can connect to. So what this does when I toggle the connect button on, it says connect live reloader. Then it connects with the WebSocket connections and listen to the messages. When this message is sent out and I have the connected switch on, then it automatically tells the browser, hey, do something and refresh the browser window. That's the heart of it. Um, whenever you run the workbench uh, locally, you simply have this WebSocket connection, but you don't have any possibility to connect to it, except when you have the PNP SPF SPFX live reloader in there. And this comes more from an idea. I did the first prototype for four years ago, uh, and then a, a PMP colleague asked me during a session, hey, how you are able to present 
that fast when, when your code changes and said, yeah, I have a live reload in there and now I built it and brought it to and try to bring it to a broader audience uh, to during uh, via the PMP solutions. What we have in there, there is no React in here, so we do a lot of, I, I do a lot of uh, classical HTML in here. For example, if you take a look here at, where do I have it? Let's say I have the icon buttons that you saw at the bottom. I have your document parser, so I parse my HTML and then can create an icon button attached to the icon button and pass some variables in and then a, uh, append directly to, uh, to the parent element. So I can, there's a reusable component that I built. Basically, it's just what you see here. It's just plain old HTML, even though there is not much HTML in here. Um, we also have, I also have in here on the common uh, complete state management, uh, which is in here. So we have three modes for now. So we have the available connect, uh, available when the local workbench is available. The way I detect this is I simply request, is the manifest there? You see the manifest URL up here. Uh, if I can read the manifest URL, then I know the uh, Gulp surf is available. Uh, and ready to work. Uh, the connected one is actually the toggle that you saw before, where I can toggle it on and off. And the debug connect is, is where I can directly, add, without having to pass in these query parameter, directly connect in, uh, my SharePoint online into the debug mode. Um, yeah, so what else do we have here? So the toggle button here is an H2 toggle button, which also uses the DOM parser, which is already built in into your browser. So whenever you have a string there, it fixes issues. It tells you if there are issues with your HTML code and things like that. And then I, I do uh, strong typed HTML inputs, HTML label, HTML output elements, and so on and so forth. And then I just write regular JavaScript code uh, against my HTML elements that I have in there. The styling for this web part is also in here. So we have the live reloader, which makes all this stuff scoped to our container so that we are not bleeding out any CSS that I have in there. And then I have global styles because sometimes I use third party tools uh, uh, or, or third party libraries like H2O and import the components in here directly. What we also have in here, if you're interested in that, so we have the icons SVG. So there are all the icons are stored in an, one single SVG file. And we also have here in here an icon service, which is here, which basically does this is the template SVG that we use. Then it when the lo icon are loaded, then it it simply extract all the symbols that we have in there. And when I want to get an SVG, so I pass in directly the string, what is the title of the SVG, and I also can pass an additional title to it. This is how the, the, the complete live reload is built, um, and so on. Yeah. So, I mean, this JavaScript here, uh, the, the CSS code here was, was pretty easy to do, but you also can say when you do here, for example, TypeScript one, then you can say, okay, I want to remove add here a simple hello world. I'm still connected with everything. And I have now my hello world in there. So this is a pretty nice tool for you to, to use. So you don't have to, when you install this in, in a in development environment, then you don't have to worry about is my browser refreshed because this is what the PMP Live Reloader already does for you. Um, there are other things here, uh, which is, uh, or other considerations of, of future features that I want to have in here, like branding information, uh, the branding information, the color information that we have that are registered on the page from the seams and so on and so forth. The font infos with the new branding center, which fonts are actually installed on the page. Uh, what are the names of those fonts? What are, what are the C uh, CSS variables that they use? I, probably want to include an icon finder for SVG icons. So when you develop, you can directly download all the Fluent UI icons as SVGs. Uh, the manifest viewer is one thing that I had in mind. So you can directly view lo your local manifest file in the browser, uh, performance counters on reload and, and things like that. And whatever you think is missing in that, it's up to you. Please make recommendations. 
for that, uh, you will find all these this presentation here. I have some links for you. Um, which is the link to the repo, and here are some basic information about WebSocket. Let's fix this typo. WebSocket, H2, what it is, create site collection, app catalog, and make life reloaded. There's a really old blog post, like I said, from four years ago that I did and, and shows or, and explains how this is possible in SharePoint Online. Yeah. Further information and yeah, again, Perfect. go to github.com slash PMP and SPF, SPF Live Reloader, which is the repo of, of this. And yeah, like I said, future improvements for that. Thank you.